So up until now, I always thought Anna was the craziest person on the show. But that's no longer true. We have a new madman on the loose. So let's talk about it. So this episode is basically broken up into two parts. Part one and part two. So in part one, everyone tried to basically mend fences. Lawrence tried to apologize for his outburst on Mother's Day when he basically cussed out everyone in the restaurant, including his own mother. And the women tried to mend fences somewhat. They tried to all go out for drinks and try to be nice to each other, but I don't even have to tell you how that turned out. But one of the interesting things in part one for me was, the most important thing in part one was, Candace had a conversation with Sana. And in this conversation, she revealed that when Lawrence met Anna, Anna was homeless and he took her in. Now this is very interesting to me because it means to me, in my opinion, that he is running around cruising the homeless shelters <laughs> looking for chicks. It's something about homeless women that he likes. <laughs> now, I don't know if it gives a power of authority, but that's just too many homeless people in one spot that he's taken in. I mean, you know how you drive up to the curb at a red light and the woman's holding the side, we'll work for sh food. Something about that must be really sexy to him because he's taking them in. This is more than once, twice, three times. Everyone ha seems to have a homeless problem and then he takes them in. This is a sign, like, mm, child, like, something might be wrong with Lawrence's ass. <laughs> You know, maybe some men like legs, lips. You know, everybody has a different thing. Some people even like feet. Lawrence seems to like homelessness. Now, another well, thing that happened that was very alarming to me in part one that really caught my eye is Lawrence's mother came back to the restaurant. And, of course, the minute she entered, um, Anna saw her and went up to her and tried to be really nice. And I would do the same thing because you always have to respect someone's mother. And she said, you know, how are you? Do you want to have a drink? And the mother said, no. She said, you don't want to have a drink with your daughter-in-law? And she was like, you are not my damn daughter-in-law. <laughs> now, this is alarming. The way she said it, there was no love there. I don't think Lawrence's mother likes so Anna So somehow, either. Anna, conniving Anna, got wind that kiss-ass Thandy, you know, I mean, Fandy's a kiss ass and you know, and we still have not addressed the subject of her sleeping with Lawrence. Cause remember, um, Can Candace made that announcement in episode two and it's just the, the whole topic has just gone mute. It has never been brought up again. I, I can't let it go. I, I'm gonna need to know. So, I mean, am I have to email Lawrence my damn self? Like, I want to know what's going on between him and Thandy, but they didn't address it this episode, so I have to let it go, too. So, Anna got wind that Thandy told Lawrence about her, Anna, not inviting Candace to the Michelin star restaurant. But she tried to be, like, very intimidating about it. She came up to... And she was like, is there something you want to tell me? And right away, Sandy knew exactly what she was talking about. But of course, she played dumb because, you know, when you play dumb, it gives you time to think. You know, you know, when you ask, huh, or you ask somebody to repeat the question, you got to add play dumb to list. It gives you time to come up with the answer. So in this time, she decided to tell the truth. Yes, um, I told him. And then... Anna's ass is going to threaten her. Snitch, you're a snitch. Snitches get stitches. Child, Fandy just let that go right over her head, and I would have too. You're not scaring anybody, Anna. Please. She just drives me crazy. So part two is insane. So part two, Lawrence decides to take some of the employees out to try to uh, have a better atmosphere since he was acting so ridiculous on um, 
Mother's Day and it was like a thank you trip. He designed, um, planned a trip to take everybody to a wine vineyard and just taste some wines that he could possibly bring into the restaurant and to put everybody at ease. So he showed up. Now, usually I don't talk about what people wear, but this was insane. This deserves being talked about. He looked like a leprechaun. He had like a green fedora hat on, a green shirt, and like a rumpled stiltskin kind of skirt. It was like a skirt. It was like insane. He was like a leprechaun in a dress. I don't know where he gets his fashion statements from. This is insane. Like, I I know under I understand that fashion is new and you know the out with the old, in with the new, like the men are wearing men bu man buns now, but I never heard of a man's skirt. <laughs> that looked like Rumpelstiltskin. It, I, I, I couldn't concentrate. The twins. the twins have to be the most likable people on the show. I mean, I don't think they're putting on an act. I really do think they're easygoing. They don't want much trouble. You know, you meet those people in life. It's a rare occurrence, but they don't have any alternative motives. They're just easygoing. They're the best kind of people to have around and the best friends because nothing bothers them and they're not evil. <laughs> like they don't, they're not out to destroy people. And so the twins are the most likable people on the show, in my opinion. When Lawrence apologized to them for being a madman during Mother's Day and really just chewing them out for no earthly good reason, of course they accepted it and they moved on. Like, I'm gonna need the twins' phone numbers. Like, those are real So when they get friends. to the vineyard, it was no more denying it for me. This is when Lawrence truly rose as the new madman of the show. Because up until then, I just thought these women are insane. But when they got to the vineyard, the women seemed sane. It was Lawrence that seemed insane. So I don't know what, like he did not give the audience a warning at all. So I don't know where he just start insanely flirting with Sana. And this threw me for a loop. Like if I would have been standing up, I would have fell down. But I was sitting down, so all I had to do was just move forward because this was so ridiculous. He started flirting with Sana, and she was receptive to the flirting. And the twins, this is the first time one of the twins, now I don't know which one likes Sana because I really can't tell them apart at this point, but one of them likes Sana. But whoever, whichever one liked her, they were not, they weren't feeling, they were like, he's flirting with my girl that I was just making out with last episode. So he was flirting. He was like, you're doing such a good job. And she was receptive. It was, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. And this went on for a good little while. Now, up until now, I always thought Sana was Candace's girl. So these are the people who it was Candace, and the twins, Sana and Lawrence. These are all the people at the vineyard. So Candace was baffled and I don't blame her. And Sana was just blatantly stabbing a girl in her girl in the back. Child, I don't play that. You know, I, mm, mm, no. So now Sana's true colors are coming to light. She's a backstabber that's also down with Lawrence. So he pulls her to the side and he was like, you're doing such a good job, good looking, that I'm gonna go ahead and make you the manager over the bar. Now there's only two people working at the bar. The new employee whose name I don't know yet that Anna hired to hopefully one day replace Candace and then Candace. So now he's trying to make Sana manager over Candace. And he was like, you have to watch her behavior. So he's doing the divide and conquer thing. 
you are the true madman of the store. I mean, of the show now. Like, Lawrence, what kind of games are you playing here? And Sana, et tu, Brute? Remember they said that in Shakespeare. Now you are just as cunning and conniving as Anna and Thandy? Child, this is ridiculous. So he said, you know, I want you to be the new uh, bar manager and we can look into getting you another place. Another place? Are you currently supplying her place? Sana, are you part of the homeless crew too? <laughs> like, are you another homeless girl that he's picked up on? This is insane. Lawrence has created a huge mess here. So he might want to take the teacup to a whole nother level and to be solidify its place in the restaurant world, but he also is a hoe <laughs> that has Sana now on his radar that we know of. Like what if something's previously been going on between him and Sana? And wait till Anna finds out. Is this another person she's gonna have to hate? <laughs> well, damn Anna, it was Candace that basically had a nervous breakdown right there in the vineyard when she realized what was going on. She started crying. She said, Lawrence, I need to talk to you, and basically had a nervous breakdown right there in front of anybody, everybody, because she could not believe what was going on and couldn't control her emotions. And of course, what did he do when she started crying? Like, what are you doing here? What, what's going on? You know, you are trying to isolate me. She was just crying, you know, and then he hugged her and said, I love you. That's what he does best. And the whole I love you thing again. Child, this is a mess. I mean, a huge mess and right up my alley. Cause remember I'm sick. I like shit like this. Like this was insane. This has gone to another level. Only thing that I'm really not liking Lawrence. You know, like his food might taste good, but his personality needs a makeover. Like, please, you a hoe. <laughs> You are a hoe that is creating a mess. And the only person I felt sorry for was the twins, whichever one. I don't know. I can't tell them power. Whichever one likes Sana and poor little Candace. Like, Candace, you need to get out of there. Like, child, you have a good personality. You don't have to put up with his mess running around town starting shit in a man skirt. <laughs> man skirt. This is insane. So I got to figure out. What's going to happen next? I cannot wait till crazy ass Anna gets wind of now Sana goes on the I gotta get her the hell out of here list. This is crazy and right up my alley. So I'll be there next week. Until then, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.